we're going to get to you in just a minute, Shannon. But I, I, Marion, just, just weigh in on this. Well, I just, think a lot of it comes down to money. Um, and I don't, I, there are certain aspects of what Spike said that I agree with and others that I not necessarily agree with in that when you, it's just like you buy a house. You pay a lot of money for that house, right? And if somebody, the IRS, whomever, tries to come and take your house, it's a problem because you have paid money for that house. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people might agree with this idea, you pay somebody millions of dollars and they're yours. Not for life. Right? They well, not the, for life, those, but this, still. He's a free agent. You can understand where the, the city of Cleveland He's a free you know, agent. It's all well and good, but you can understand where the city of Cleveland could have seen it. he was theirs. He was theirs. And the fact that he made this decision to leave was a problem, right? They paid a lot of money for him, and he just made the decision to leave. But you can understand where they feel. But, Mary, they feel can, upset I, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. How much did he make for the Cleveland Cavaliers? If they're paying him that money, they're not going to pay LeBron that money not knowing how much they're going to make. But I'm not saying it's so right. The, wait a minute. I'm not and saying it's right why the minute. city of Cleveland is so upset. And the value of the franchise went whoop the minute he left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, I, can I just Please. add into this? The sad thing in all this was how it was presented mm -hmm. is probably what everybody's mad at. And then he left. I've left sometimes, not voluntarily. They sent me out <laughs> of New Jersey. Bye. But when you leave, people are angry. It's what it's about. Mm -hmm. But what, if you know LeBron, he's the most loyal person I've ever seen in my life. To his friends, he will stand in front of the bus for his friends. And so this has gotten away from that, that he is a good guy. He is a terrific basketball player. He is like the best. But this, I think, will pass too in time. But right now, all those people that are booing him and going nuts, that's just made him tougher and better. And he's using it. Just like you get attacked, you use it. Bring it. Let's go. And so I'm looking at this saying, I wish he wouldn't have presented it the way he did because I love him to death. But. At the end of the day, he is a great guy who cares about his people, cares about his family, and he's a good man. He did what he thought was best for him. Michael, will winning fix LeBron's image this year, <coughs> next year? Does winning fix this? By June. <laughs> It'll, that's all it takes. We don't, we don't have any principles when it comes to sports. We care about who wins. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, Tony, on our show on PTI, Tony made fun of me because I said LeBron's image would be fine by Halloween if they'd gone into Boston and beaten the Celtics in the opener. And I was exaggerating the point, but, it, you know, who was the, whose quote was it? And you guys remember, it's the deodorant that covers all stink. Who's, whose line was that? I mean, that's what winning is. And, yes, LeBron's image will be fine, and that's why... Not outside of Cleveland, though. Ohio, he forgets Okay, Ohio. but he's done in Ohio. Right. Yeah. I mean, that, that, but, then, again, that's his choosing, and, you know, life goes on. But we've seen Bill Buckner just got a job in Massachusetts, didn't he? I mean, time also heals these things, but certainly winning does. We're, we're beyond... That was 86, though. <laughs> but we thought time. never. I know, yeah. I know as an observer of that spike, he thought never. 86. He had so. to move to Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> beating up his kids. <laughs> but, I, I, you know, I think, yeah, I think LeBron will be fine if Miami continues to win. It, it, anybody disagree with me? I mean, you, you know... And basketball, even more so than any other sport, because it's not, there's no helmet. You're not obscured. Everybody sees your mm -hmm. face and your reactions, and they know who you are and what you feel. And what, what, what I see from LeBron right now is he, he's trying to embrace this villain role, and it's just not. This is not him. And he's not a villain everywhere. And he's not going to be a villain when people see him put up triple doubles in the playoffs. He's not going to be a villain then either. Mm -hmm. Let's get the reaction with Shannon. What are, the, what are people saying online? 
it sparked a lot of debate here in our ESPN.com chat. I've got Parminder with this comment. She says, race was absolutely a factor in LeBron backlash. Uh, KK weighs in with this. He says, LeBron was the cause of his own backlash. Uh, he is his own best friend and worst enemy. Uh, and then Ben with this comment, race was not involved. He just left the Cavs the wrong way. So that's what we've got. And it's pretty much, it's, it's we, and we saw, did we show this earlier about how the year before LeBron's Q rating and then this year, the real difference between the two? And it's like, there's, there's just some people that cannot get over this. I know you said, and I agree with you, this too shall pass, but for, for, for so many people, and where, where do you think, Coach Shannon, that, that that comes from? Well, I mean, you know, no matter how it is, it's like we've all been saying, it's winning is, is everything right now in, in sports. And, you know, you can talk about LeBron in Cleveland. You can talk about what he's doing in Miami. And I'm going to say this, I mean, Michael, if they don't win it in Miami, the championship, they'll be trying to run LeBron James out of Miami. That's, that's, that's Miami. Mm -hmm. They'll be trying to run him out. Well, you know very well, Miami. I know very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, he signed a three-year contract, right? Six. I thought it was three years. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. no, no. Six? Six. And took less. Yeah, right. he took less. Well, we're it's talking talk about to athletes that evoke visceral, emotional, and sometimes polarizing responses as we continue. We'll talk about Michael Vick, a young, talented, affluent athlete deeply in trouble, and then it seems redeemable. What does the journey of Michael Vick say about him and about us? That's next as we I'm continue. The image of the black athlete. In the community that I can be, not only for myself, but for you all, but for all the dogs that I hurt.